Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today with an exciting giveaway announcement. I hope you'll stick around, find out what you can win and how you can enter. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, or you're not yet subscribed and want to get in on the giveaway, I hope you'll go ahead and click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I had a goal last year of hitting 12,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. I was so thrilled when on, I think it was January 2nd of 2021, I actually hit 15,000. So I wanted to celebrate. I am overwhelmed every time I upload a new video with how much love I receive from my subscribers, whether it's a thumbs up, sharing the video, or a comment. Each and every one of you is so appreciated. So I thought, since you show me love all the time by being a subscriber, that today, Valentine's Day, was an appropriate day to announce my Share the Love giveaway. This is an opportunity for me to show my appreciation for all of you through prizes and for you to share the love through your love of card making. I will be sharing all of the details in this video, how you can enter to win and earn entries. But let me tell you before we get started that there is going to be a lot of information given today. I would suggest watching this video once through in its entirety so you have an overview of all of the rules. And then when you do get ready to submit your final entry, come back here one more time and by then in the description box below i will have chapters so you can skip to each of the sections that would be important to you you also might want to pause the video here and go grab yourself a drink let's get into this when i knew i was close to hitting 15,000 subscribers i thought it would be fun to celebrate by giving away one penny for each of my subscribers. So for the most important part of the giveaway is what you can win. I will be giving away a total of $150, which sounds like a lot less than 15,000 pennies. This is in honor of hitting my 15,000 subscriber. Now I will tell you that I have gained a few more since the beginning of the year, so make sure to stay tuned and find out how this might be an even bigger giveaway by the time the drawing is announced. Because I want to spread the love around and show love to as many of you as I can, unfortunately it can't be all 15,000 of you, I am giving away six $25 gift cards to the online store of your choice. Please keep in mind that sites like AliExpress and Wish will not be included in this, and that is due to the fact that sometimes those sites do steal art from companies. To be eligible to win, you of course have to be a subscriber to my channel, and you need to be at least 18 years old. And because all of these gift cards will be purchased online for e-delivery, this is open to my USA and international subscribers. Each of you can earn up to six entries into the drawing. You can get one by leaving a comment below and five by sharing the love. For the first entry, and this one actually is required of anybody who's going to enter, whether you're just going to earn this one or if you're going to go for six, leave a comment below leaving me some love. I want you to let me know which of my videos you enjoy the most and make sure in your comment to leave the hashtag, hashtag crafty al share the love. I will have that in the description box below, so if you want to copy and paste that. Now when I say leave me a comment and leave me some love, please just don't say, 
I like your card making videos because you know what? 99% of my videos are card making videos. What made you hit that subscribe button? What keeps you coming back? Four or five additional entries, you can share the love and then send me proof of that. Now I will be talking more in depth of what this means later on in the video, but I want to give you just a few more details before I do that. The deadline for entries is midnight Central Standard Time on March 14th, 2021. That means you have a whole month to do this. Because there are some official things you need to do to verify and send in those entries, you probably don't want to wait until 11 o'clock on March 14th in case you run into any questions. I will be using random.org to choose my six winners and I will be announcing it with a video here on my YouTube channel on or around March 21st of 2021. Now, if you don't already have those notifications turned on, you might want to go ahead and do that because the winners will have one week to claim their prize once that video is live. And in that video, I will give lots more instructions how to claim the prize. And if not all of those prizes are claimed within that week, then I will do one redraw for any unclaimed prizes. To verify and officially submit your entries, you have to fill out and submit the Google form that is linked in the description box below. I would hate for you to go through the process of leaving your comment and sharing your love like I'm going to explain here in a couple minutes and then not submit those entries with that form. So please make sure to do that. Here in a little bit, I will go over the process of filling out that form just in case you run into any questions. And now for another exciting announcement. If I reach 17,500 subscribers before the giveaway deadline, so before midnight on March 14th, 2021, I am going to add one more $25 gift card to the mix. That will mean then that I have still given away a penny for each of my subscribers. I am currently at about 16,750, so I think it's doable, but to help me out, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos and my channel with crafty friends, family members, coworkers in your life, that would be awesome. Now let's find out how you can earn those five extra entries by sharing the love. I don't know about you, but since we haven't been able to be with all of our friends and all of our loved ones, it has been really nice to send and receive cards just because you're thinking about somebody. So I thought for extra entries, I would ask you to share the love by creating and mailing or hand delivering a sheet load of cards to your friends, family members, coworkers, etc. What you'll do is select your favorite sheet load of cards or a second favorite, that is all up to you. Make a set of those. Sheet loads are usually anywhere between six and 12 cards. And then I want you to write a little note in those, put them in an envelope and get them ready for again, either mailing or hand delivery. In the description box below, I will have a link to the playlist that has all of the debut videos as well as the process videos for each month. This should make it easy for you to find the download links, see how they're made if you need some help, and decide which sheet load to use. Once you have made your cards, written your little note inside, and gotten them into envelopes, you will then need to send me proof. This will mean you'll take two photos. One is of your completed set of sheet load of cards, so make sure I see all six to 12 of them in one photo. And the second is a photo of the cards in their envelopes. To be as safe as possible, please make sure that any personal information is covered up or concealed in your photo. Later in the video, I will share with you some photo examples so you can get an idea of what these can look like. You can send me your proof via either an Instagram post 
or via email. Please only choose one option. You can't get credit for Instagram and email. It's just five total. So to keep things easier for me, just do one or the other. If you would like to share your proof via Instagram, you are gonna take those two photos that we just talked about and share those as one post to your feed. Now you are free to share these in your story, but keep in mind that those do disappear after 24 hours, so I won't be able to go back in and confirm that they were done. When you make that Instagram post, make sure to tag me. I am at callmecraftyal, and also make sure that in your description or the text you type that you use the hashtag, hashtag craftyalsharethelove. If you want to submit your proof via email, you are going to send one email with both of the photos to a temporary email address I have made for this giveaway. Please do not use my regular one that's at the very bottom of the description box. I will have the one for this toward the top so you can copy and paste it. My email for this giveaway is craftyalsharethelove at gmail.com. Make sure your subject reads share the love giveaway and in the body of your email you must include your YouTube username and your first name because later you're going to submit a form and all of these need to match up to be able to claim your prize. Once you have finalized your entries, whether it's the one or the six, you will need to fill out the Google form linked in the description box to verify those entries and to be included in that final drawing. This form has to be submitted once again by midnight Central Standard Time on March 14th, 2021. Up on screen now is an option of what your photo of the cards could look like. And then this next photo is an example of how you could take the picture of your cards ready to mail. You'll see that I can see the stamp on each one, but my hand is covering up that top address. Now, if you're just gonna hand deliver these, you could just write the recipients' first names on the envelopes and just take a picture of that pile. I just wanna make sure that these were made and in envelopes. Now I'm gonna show you how to fill out the Google form, and for this, we'll go ahead and switch over to my computer. When you click on the link in the description box below, it's gonna bring up a page that looks very similar to this. Now, because I am still working on the video, I won't have the video linked so you can go and see details, but make sure once again that you watch this video entirely but if you haven't watched it, I will link that there so you can do that. And if you do have any questions, my email address for this giveaway is provided. Moving down the form, you'll see that the first thing I need to know is what your YouTube username is. This is gonna be what shows up when you leave a comment, so I do have a picture with an example. For instance, my username is Call Me Crafty Al, and the username of the person below me is Craft Roulette. Next, I want to know your first name. Please, just to be safe, only include your first name here. I'm not sharing this information with anyone, but let's just keep it on the safe side. Next, you're going to enter the email address that if you are a winner, you'll be claiming your prize with. Then I want to know your state or country of residence. Mine did autofill United States, so I just changed that to Nebraska. And then I'm gonna type in for my gift card preference that I would like Gina K Designs. She's one of my favorites right now. Now there is some information above this line that you'll wanna check out. And then I wanna know, have you left a comment on the giveaway for the first entry? There is only one option here. If you haven't left that comment, you should go do that before you fill this form out. Finally on this page, I want to know, did you earn extra entries by sharing the love? Now I'm gonna show you all the ways in this form how you can enter. For right now, I'm gonna say, no, I did not share the love. 
This will take you to the final section of the form. Again, read that little information box there, and then you need to check all that apply. And all of these should apply to you before you click that submit button. Once you've made sure that those do apply, you'll click on submit, and then you'll get a notice that your entry has been received. Now, do not do this, but I'm gonna go back and submit another response so I can show you how to enter in the other ways. That first page of the form will be filled out in pretty much the same way that I just showed you. My username, my first name, all that good information. But when I get to the bottom, I'm going to click yes that I shared the love for extra entries. Then I'm taken to the page where I'll mark how I shared my proof or how I proved it. It's either Instagram or email. Now I'll click on Instagram and click next. And then this takes me to a section where I'll need to put in a little information. I'm going to put in the date that I made my Instagram post and a direct link to the post. Now to get this, you'll go to your Instagram account, click on your profile, find the picture that has the proof for those two photos of your cards and your envelopes. And once that's up on screen, you're going to copy the URL, which is control C on a windows machine or command C on a Mac. You'll go back into the form and control V or command V to paste that into the form. It's very important that you send me to that direct post. Then you're going to type in your username, which for me is at call me crafty Al. Once again, I'll show you where to find that. You'll go back to your profile and it's not the call me crafty Al with spaces. It's the one above that right at the very top of the page. That's my username. Then let me know. Did you tag me in your post again? Only a yes. Did you include the hashtag again? The only option is yes. And what sheet load of cards did you use? So what month and year did you use to create your cards? I'm just going to put in January 2021. And then finally, did you mail or hand deliver your cards? Either is fine. You'll just mark the one that you did and then click next. But for right now, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you how to fill out the form if you emailed me proof. The first page will be the same as if you had shared the love, but instead of clicking on that you sent in Instagram proof, you'll click that you sent in email proof. This will bring you to a different section. Here, once again, you're going to put in the date that you emailed me the proof, and then let me know that email address that you used to send it in. Once again, you'll let me know which sheet load you use, the month and the year, and then finally, did you mail or hand deliver the cards? Just so you know, when you go to fill this out, other will not be an option. That was a mistake. You'll be taken to that same final details page where you'll check all that apply to you and then submit it. Once you've received this little note, that means that I have received your entries. Phew, we are done. Thank you so much for sitting through that to find out exactly how you can be entered to win one of those six, possibly seven, $25 gift cards. I know that that was a lot of information to take in, but making sure you follow all of this completely is going to ensure that your entries are counted that you have worked to earn. This keeps it easy for me in the end when I go to draw those winners. I do want to say once again, thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you and good luck in the giveaway. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.